There's nothing wrong with this video. It's not totally out of focus. As a matter of fact, it's just like your baby's eyes at birth. It just takes a bit of time for things to come into focus. That's better. Your baby's vision is not well developed at birth. A baby sees at about 2200 or 2800, which is a blurry world compared with your vision, which should be around 2020. 2020 is considered to be perfect vision because at 20 feet, we should be able to read letters on a chart of a certain size. So let's see the amazing changes that make your baby's vision go from this to this in about six months. One of the greatest moments in life is the first time your baby opens her eyes, makes contact, and really meets you for the first time. It might take a few weeks for this to happen because an infant's visual system takes some time to develop. In the first week of life, babies don't see much detail. Their first view of the world is pretty blurry. At first, the image your baby sees is blurry and rather two-dimensional, sort of like the first image on the photo paper in the darkroom. But over time, your baby will begin to recognize shapes and dimensions, and at about a year, his vision will be developed pretty well. After a year, there are still neurological connections to be made, but the images are way better than the day he was born. One thing you may notice about your newborn son or daughter is how large their eyes are. This is because normal infant development proceeds from the head down. At birth, your baby's eyes are already 65% of their adult size. Bringing your baby's vision into focus. Let's look at vision development. At birth, nerve cells in your baby's retina and brain cells that control vision are not fully developed. Also, a newborn infant's eyes don't have the ability to focus on near objects. So don't be concerned if your baby doesn't seem to be focusing on objects. It just takes time. Despite these visual limitations, studies show that within a few hours after birth, babies can recognize their mother's face. Perhaps this is due to the baby's inner drives to connect to mom and protect herself. Her first visual connection will probably be to her mother and the same person who also protects the newborn. Researchers believe this visual preference for a mother's face depends on large, high-contrast stimuli, like the boundary of the mother's hairline to her face, with its strong curve and edge. In studies, if these boundaries were masked with a scarf or bathing cap, the infant's preference of looking at their mother's face went away. Interestingly, babies are naturally drawn to a simple smile face of two dots for eyes and an up curve for a mouth and an outline for a face, far more than other simple outlines. So, to encourage visual interaction with your newborn child, keep your hairstyle the same and avoid altering your appearance. Interestingly, a newborn's best focal range is 8 to 15 inches away, and she can see in this distance quite well. It is not a coincidence that this distance is about the space between mom's face and the baby's eyes during a feeding. Mother Nature knows what she is doing. She wants mom and baby to attach early on in the relationship. Your baby's eyes in the first month. For a young baby, it's a pretty blurry world. What a baby can see are bold objects with bright colors. Also, clear separation between objects is important, since objects placed side by side can blur into one. Evidence has shown that a young baby's eyes do not work in the same fashion as older children or adults mainly due to poor coordination of the eyes. A young baby's eyes move in the same direction only about half the time. Strengthening 
and control of eye muscles is needed to achieve depth perception. Human eyes are formed in such a way that each eye reflects a stimulus at a slightly different angle, thereby producing two images that are processed in the brain. These images provide the essential visual information regarding the 3D features in the world. Therefore, a baby's ability to control his eye movements and focus on one object is critical for developing depth perception. Your baby's eyes are not very sensitive to light in the first week of life. In fact, the amount of light required for a one-month-old infant to be aware that light is present, something researchers call the light detection threshold, is about 50 times higher than that of an adult. Infants start to develop the ability to see in colors very quickly. At one week after birth, they can see red, orange, yellow, and green, but it takes a little longer for them to be able to see blue and violet. This is because blue light has shorter wavelengths and fewer color receptors exist in the retina for blue light. To help stimulate your baby's vision, decorate her room with bright, cheerful colors. Include artwork and furnishings with contrasting colors and shapes. Also, hang a brightly colored mobile above or near her crib. Make sure it has a variety of colors and shapes. High contrast and bold colors are preferred. And separate objects. Side-to-side movement of both objects and people will catch your baby's attention much better than up-and-down motions. This side-to-side motion will also draw your baby's attention better than any motionless objects. Vision Development Months 2 and 3 Many advances in vision development take place in months 2 and 3. Infants develop sharper visual acuity during this period, and their eyes are beginning to work better as a team. Your baby should be following moving objects at this stage and reach for things he sees. However, a lot of neurological wiring must still be completed. In other words, the neurological wires need some insulation and connections in order to function properly. The insulation process begins about two months before birth, but the job is finished about six months after birth. The connections between neurological wires is largely determined by what your baby sees, and it is mostly completed while your baby sleeps. In other words, the brain begins to connect what your baby sees with inner neurological connections that will be used over and over throughout a lifetime. This takes longer, with a lot of activity from birth to about two years of age. Then it continues at a slower pace until around seven or eight years of age. Also around this time, the baby develops the ability to track a moving object smoothly without the jerky eye movements that were present a month earlier. And around three months of age, a baby's color vision is comparable to an adult's. The blues are now blue, and the other primary colors and basic combinations are distinct. To help stimulate your two to three month old child's vision development, the American Optometric Association recommends that you Talk to your baby as you walk around the room. Infants at this stage of development are also learning how to shift their gaze from one object to another without having to move their head. And their eyes are becoming more sensitive to light. At three months, an infant's light detection threshold is only 10 times that of an adult. By age six months, significant advances have taken place in the vision centers of the brain, allowing your infant to see more distinctly and move his eyes quicker and more accurately to follow moving objects. 
Visual acuity improves from about 20 to 100 to 800 at birth to approximately 2020 at six months of age. Color vision should be similar to that of an adult as well, enabling your baby to see all the colors of the rainbow. Your baby will also have better eye-hand coordination at four to six months of age, allowing him to quickly locate and pick up objects and accurately direct a bottle and many other things to his mouth. Perhaps this ability to grab is the result of her rapidly developing depth perception. By around four months, both eyes are working as a team to coordinate objects in three dimensions and in relationship to other objects. Visually speaking then, near and far begin to make some sense as life takes on three dimensions. This depth perception and three division is one of the reasons why we all have two eyes. Researchers call this binocularity, both eyes working together. Also, by six months, your baby can anticipate where a moving object will be a second or two later. So their vision can look a step ahead instead of locking onto a moving object. But how do we know this stuff? One of the most important discoveries of infant death perception is thanks to researchers Eleanor Gibson and R.D. Walk. Gibson and Walk concluded that infants develop a sense of visual depth prior to beginning locomotion. Therefore, it could be concluded that sometime at the beginning of crawling, depth perception begins to strongly present itself. Vision development. Months 7 to 12, your baby is now mobile, crawling all over the house and covering more distance than a marathon runner. He is better at judging distances and more accurate at grasping and throwing objects. By 12 months, her eyes are almost fully tuned in with focus and color perception. At this stage, infants are developing a better awareness of their overall body and are learning how to coordinate their vision with their body movements. And inside his brain, vision and body coordination are encouraging each other by forming neural connections and strengthening these connections with repetition. And at this time, you really have to watch him to keep him out of harm's way. Don't be too concerned if your infant's eyes are beginning to change color. Most babies are born with blue eyes because darker pigments in the iris aren't completely developed at birth. Over time, more dark pigment is produced in the iris, which will often change your child's eye color from blue to brown, green, gray, or a mixture of colors. To stimulate the development of your child's eye-hand-body coordination, get down on the floor and play with him. Encourage him to crawl to objects. Place a favorite toy on the floor, just out of his reach, and encourage him to grab it. Also, make sure she has safe toys with big pieces that she can take apart and put together. Help her link what she sees to what she can touch. For adults, this is second nature, but for a baby, it is a huge discovery. Help her with those early connections because they will always be there and will serve her well all her life. Vision begins when light rays are reflected off an object and enter the eyes through the cornea, the transparent outer covering of the eye. The cornea bends or refracts the rays that pass through a round hole called the pupil. The iris, or colored portion of the eye that surrounds the pupil, opens and closes, making the pupil bigger or smaller, to regulate the amount of light passing through it. The light rays then pass through the lens, which actually changes shape so it can further bend the rays and focus them on the retina at the back of the eye. The retina is a thin layer of tissue 
at the back of the eye that contains millions of tiny light-sensing nerve cells called rods and cones, which are named for their distinct shapes. Cones are concentrated in the center of the retina, in an area called the macula. In bright light conditions, cones provide clear, sharp, central vision and detect colors and fine details. Rods are located outside the macula and extend all the way to the other edge of the retina. They provide peripheral or side vision. Rods also allow the eye to detect motion and help us see in dim light and at night. These cells in the retina convert the light into electrical impulses. The optic nerve sends these impulses to the brain where an image is produced. In the brain, we find different areas which process different jobs. Of all the senses, the brain devotes the most space to processing vision. Different parts of the brain process different parts of vision separately, like object shape, motion, color, and location. One area processed object location, another area color, another shape, yet another direction. To fully see then, your baby requires quite a bit of brain coordination to bring the various parts of vision into a unified single vision. Researchers have discovered two distinct pathways in the brain when it comes to vision. The where it is path is the brain circuitry that deals with speed, direction, and motion of an object, while the what it is pathway tells us what object we are looking at. These pathways are separate, and so your baby will need to learn to coordinate the what and where of vision, so that she may one day process a lot of visual information simultaneously. While most vision development happens on Mother Nature's schedule, you can help your baby develop vision by providing a lot of actual interaction with you and the world. What I am trying to say is this. Don't set a baby down to watch TV or video, even a video that is designed for babies. Video and TV are virtual realities, not realities. In other words, help her grab a real ball, not watch a TV ball bouncing across the screen. The real ball is in reality, and this will help with not just eyesight, but also coordination and discovery of the world.